Hello my dear students. How are you all? Hope you are well and enjoying your study at home. Welcome to the economics class. The topic which we are going to study today is about economic problems. Students. As we all know that economics is a study of scarce resources and unlimited wants. So in today's lecture we will study about the economic problems faced by all of us. These are the objectives of our today's lesson. To know about the basic economic problems. To know and write about the reasons of economic problems and. To solve the worksheet. My dear students as we have already discussed. That human beings have unlimited wants and the resources required to fulfill those wants are limited. So in this topic we will study in detail that what are the reasons of economic problems faced by mankind. Mankind has to face uncountable economic problems like Our wants are unlimited. The means to satisfy wants are scarce, scarcity. In economics means is a term which is used for resources. How the means can be assessed to solve the economic problems. The economists must assess the means to solve the economic problems. Assess means to evaluate or to measure the resources which can be used to get maximum satisfaction. What do we mean by assess? Yes. We mean to evaluate the resources. The problem of choice is faced by human beings and these choices create scarcity of resources. Human wants are unlimited but means to satisfy them are limited. The scarcity of means create economic problems. Therefore, all human wants cannot be satisfied with limited means. We have to compromise on less important wants. All economies have to deal with the same basic economic problem. They have limited amount of resources and unlimited wants. The problem of allocation of resources must find ways of answering the following questions. What to produce? How to produce? For whom to produce? Allocation of resources mean the allotment or the distribution of resources. Dear students you can see on your screens. In this picture it is clearly shown that the economy must know the answers of these three questions. What to produce? How to produce? For whom to produce? What to produce? Resources are limited and our wants are unlimited. Therefore, we must choose what commodity should be produced first. The economy must discover what things people really want. For example, society needs hospitals, medicines, or roads. Do we need schools and food items or we need luxury goods? What do you think students? So the economy must know that which products are needed by the people. First those goods should be produced. How to produce? This question relates to the choice of techniques of production. Technologically, there are various ways of producing a given product. For example cloth can be produced on hand looms or power looms. Different methods can be used to produce different goods. An economy should use that method which is not costly and which can produce a quality product. For example when you are required to bake pizza. You can bake it by electric oven by gas oven or by other means as well. So we must know how to produce a commodity. For whom to produce. For whom to produce is the problem of distribution of goods and service. The customers who will use the good or product. Examples. Wheelchair for challenged people. Sports car for youngsters. The economy must know that what is the demand of the product. 
if we produce very expensive products for that area where poor people are living. So this is totally wrong and cannot be justified. Dear students, I hope now it is clear that why economic problems arise. Now this is the end of our today's lecture. You have to give the answers of the following questions in your notebook. If you face any difficulty in answering these questions, you can ask me. Questions are How does an economic problem arise? What do we mean by means in economics? Thank you so much. See you in the next lesson. Goodbye.